Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be going over how to make items spawn in a random place. So as you can see here, this is all the different possible locations for an item to spawn in. And if I press play, you see that only three of them have spawned in and we can change it so they spawn in different locations each time, sorry. And like I say, we can also change it so differing amounts spawn in as well. So I'm going to set it now to be four spawn in. So I've now hit play, four of them will spawn in instead. Again, all being in different random locations each time, dependent on what we have here, so it'll be in one of these locations. So again, this is what we're making today. A lot of people were asking this from the video I made previously on a total collectibles, so you have to pick up a certain amount of collectibles, i.e. here we have to pick up four, because that's how many we've spawned in, and then we can unlock the door. You don't need to follow that tutorial, but that's what I'm going to be using, so this will work with that as well, if that's what you wanted and what you're, and what you're asking for as well just to make it look a bit better. So the items you need to collect spawn in random places throughout the map. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. So as you can see here, I've already got my items placed in the map. And what we're gonna do is the code we're gonna do is gonna be in our game mode blueprint. So we can open that up and mine is in the content, third person BP, blueprints, third person game mode. You should have one by default. And what I'm gonna do here is you'll probably have some code on event begin play already if you followed my previous tutorial on collecting the objects. If you do, you can just remove it. And what I'm gonna do is get event begin play. So get that here. And then off of this, I'm going to get all actors of class, with the actor class being my item which I want to spawn in. And so for me, that is the collectible BP. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to know how many we already have, so we can spawn in some of them and not spawn in some of the others which are already in the level. So out of this, what I'm going to do is to make it random, I'm just going to simply come out of out axis and get a shuffle node. So we're going to shuffle the order of the items in this array, so each time it's going to be different and random. So that's a nice, easy way of doing it. And then after this, I'm going to set an integer, which I have already, named total collectibles. If you don't have this, don't worry, what you can do is simply just create it. So hit a plus variable here, naming it total collectibles, and changing it to be an integer up here and then set that off of this here. Again, the only reason I already have it is because of the previous tutorial I made. And what we want to set this to is how many items we have in the level. So an easy way of finding that out is coming out of the out actors again of the get all actors of class, and this time get a length node. So we're getting the length of the array, so how many items and how many actors there are in the array, and that will go into the set total collectible there. So we now know how many there are in the level. And then out of the set total collectibles, what we want to do is we want to get a for loop, like so, just a normal for loop there. First index will leave a zero, and the last index, we want to be how many we want to remove. So if we set this to three, that will do it four times, because it will go zero, one, two, and three, which is four. So it's going to remove four from the level. So you might sometimes forget that. So I've created some little simple maths to make that easier for you, so you can just input the value of how many you want in the level instead, so you don't have to figure out how many you need to remove, you can just say, this is how many I want. So simply what I'm going to do is create the plus variable again, naming this one collectibles in map, and this is again going to be an integer. Compile that, and then you can obviously set its default value to be what you want, I'm going to set that in a second. And so we're going to get collectibles in map there. Out of this, I'm going to get a plus, so an integer plus an integer, leaving it as one, so we're adding one. And then we're going to come out of the length here, so length of the array, and get a minus, so an integer minus an integer, connecting that to the addition there, and that will go into the last index of the for loop there, like so. So what we're gonna do is get how many we want in the map. We're gonna add one, because the for loop adds one again, because we start counting at zero. And then we're going to subtract that from how many items we have in the level. So again, however many items we have, minus how many we want, plus one, we'll make sure we remove all the ones we don't need, so we only end up with how many we want. So again, I'm going to select collectibles in map, and let's say I want to have five spawn in, so I'm going to put five in there, enter, compile, and now we're going to have five spawn in the map, very simply. So what I'm going to do is instead of spawning them in, I'm just going to destroy the ones we don't want. So again, we've used this shuffle here to make it random. So because it's on a random order, we can just use this index of the for loop here. Because again, this is a random order in the array. 
So also out of the out actors again of the get all actors of class, I'm going to get a copy. So we're getting an item from the array and we're just going to put the index in there. So it's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up for however many we want, but again, it's in a random order each time. I'm also just going to double click these lines here to get some rewrite nodes just to keep it looking nice and organized. And then once we've got the one which we want to destroy, we can cut the get and get a destroy actor. So we're going to destroy the items which we don't want to place down. With that, go into the loop body. So again, it's going to do this and call this code for however many times we want to destroy it. So i.e. how many we want left in the level. And then what I'm going to do as well is after the destroy actor, I'm going to set total collectibles and I'm going to set that to total collectibles minus one. So total collectibles minus an integer, I'm leaving it as minus one, I'm going to set total collectibles and then after that set collectibles left, which again you don't need to do if you don't want, but this is just because of the previous video which I have. So set that like that. And now you might be wondering why I'm setting them there, because essentially this is the collectibles in map value there. So the collectibles in map should equal to this at the end. However, if there's a chance that it goes wrong, i.e. something breaks in another part of the code and this lags and it destroys too many, that shouldn't ever happen. But this is just kind of a backup to make sure that we do have the correct amount of total collectibles so it doesn't mess up with the other system. So we are setting it to be perfectly what it should be. So this is what it should be. This is what it is. And again, they should be equal to the same. All the testing I've done, they're never not equal to the same. Again, it's just that kind of extra backup just in case, and it really doesn't affect the code at all, make it any less efficient. So again, total collectibles minus one, setting that to the total collectibles. So when we destroy one, we're just going to take one away from how many we have. And then obviously set that to collectibles left again for the other system to work. So we can compile, save, and this should be the code done. So I'll run you through it again. So as soon as we begin the game, what we're going to do is shuffle the order of the items in the array of our collectibles and also get the length of that array, setting that to how many we have in total. Then we're going to get a for loop doing this loop for however many items we want to have left in the map. And every time we fire off this loop, we're just going to destroy an actor of the item we have going through the order from 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to however many we want. But again, we shuffled it so it's a random order. And then when we do that, we're just going to take one off however many we have. So again, if I select collect within map, I've got that set as five. So when I hit play, we should have five left. So if I hit play, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. If I pick that up, it says one of five collected and that will all work perfectly. If I go back in and set this to be two, we hit play, we now only have two in the map. I pick it up and it still says one of two collected. So this works perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set it up so we can spawn in the items in a random location each time. So they're all random, so we have three, three again all being in random locations and we have it set up so we can spawn in the amount that we want to have in the amount of random locations we want as well obviously again making sure that we just place the items in the places they can spawn in so if i just get some more of these i can duplicate them this means we'll now have more places they can spawn in so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.